guys, it is time to get to work. It's the Marvel Experience. <laughs> Welcome to Geek Geek. This episode of Geek Geek is brought to you by Hip Chat. I am audio and video chatting and share your screen and files all in one application. I'm Damani Daniel. And I'm David Foster. And we are here at the Marvel Experience, which is basically one big mobile theme park touring around the country. It's and in we're actually in Dallas. We are right in Dallas, now, yes. but, but it's got like four cities that they're going to so far. Mm -hmm. I think San Diego, and then right after that is San Francisco. Uh, and it's taken a while for them to get to this well, point. Well, it's been so. two years to get to, to this point. Yeah, two, so two years of development, and what they were telling us is that it actually takes them five days mm -hmm. to get this set up in whatever city they go into. So San Diego's next. So right. Like I said, we're in Dallas, I but San Diego. Said they're actually right there, right now, setting up the cement bases for all of the domes. For all the, what, there, are, there are seven, I think they said seven immersion domes mm -hmm. that we're going to get to go through, all of which have something unique and something different about them. And so it takes them a while, and there's a, a lot of technology mm -hmm. that really goes into making this possible. Right. So I'm kind of excited about it. I'm very thing. excited about it. So what do you say we actually go inside and see it? Well, I was going to say, make sure you keep an eye out because ah, yeah. there's there's some Marvel characters that are not in the movies that they're showing off at the Marvel experience so that people get an idea that there's more to it than just the movies. Yeah. So, so I'm excited because I'm very I heard excited. there's all kinds of cool stuff on the inside. Yes. All kinds of cool nerdy tech. Yes. Geeky stuff. So Geeky. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. go check yeah, let's it go out. do it. Let's go. Okay, so now we're walking into the actual experience. This is where people spend the most of their time. This is the training center. This is where we're going to get training to go uh, take care of some villains. And oh my gosh, it's Captain America. Well, this is the real shield. That is a replica. And they were very clear about that, making sure that kids understand that that's a replica of Captain America's shield because they didn't want them to think that they stole it, which is obviously impossible because I have the real shield. So. Let's go take a look at some of this other stuff. All right, so first we summoned some Marvel characters at the Avenger encounter, and then Damani did an awesome job at the Spider-Man rock climbing wall, where we thought everything was gonna be great, but then we went over to the 3D shooting game. You know the difference between me and you? I make this look good. And it didn't go so well. Damani, uh, I kind of beat him there. <laughs> and he said he makes this look good. Then we went over to the Captain America, or the uh, Iron Man flying through the canyon. It didn't do so well over there, so I think we're gonna have to come up with a new plan. So let's just, let's figure that out. I know you tried it. It's just, that this, this just doesn't seem to be your thing, so. <laughs> But I, I think, be a well, I, and, and I think you can. I really do. I really think you can. But I think right now we need to see how all of this stuff works. So why don't you go behind the scenes and show us how all of this stuff works? And I'm gonna go complete my training. Okay. Pass you. The so clearly, I'm not called to be a shield recruit, and you know that's really okay because this is every production nerd's dream. I walked into this room and I was blown away by the type of production they have going on. So I want to talk a little bit about it. So what we've got, for, for audio, we've got the Kara system by L Acoustics. We've got Barco and PRG 20K projectors. There's a projector. And there's another projector too. There's another projector. There's one right there. And there's one right there too. And there's some more right there. So yeah, lots of projectors. The lights consist of clay packy Sharpies, Mac Auras, VL3500s. We've got Source 4 and Color Blasts. Uh, we've got show control that's been custom created for this experience because the stuff they were seeing on the market just wasn't good enough, just wasn't fast enough. The video server that they're using is also custom because they were seeing that the things that existed on the market could not keep up with some of the content because some of the content that we're gonna see is actually created as 6K content, which is mind boggling to me. So even though I wasn't able to become a, a SHIELD agent today, I'm still firm in my status as the coolest nerd on the block. So the whole goal of the Marvel experience is to bring the whole Marvel universe together. So like you'll see the movies like The Avengers, Captain America, uh, Iron Man, and you think Robert Downey Jr., just, just Captain America and The Avengers, but there's more to that. There was the Wolverine, there was Spider-Man. So the whole goal is to kind of bring all these together, you know, She-Hulk and, and Black Panther and 
Wolverine to give you more of an experience as to what actually happened in the comic books as opposed to the movies. Now, if you're looking behind me and you're wondering, uh, wait, is that a webcam and are all those Xbox Connects? The answer is yes, those are. They have, in all the interactive games, you're able to be the character, or right behind me you can see the augmented reality station where you get to call one member of, uh, 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 of the team, of the Avengers team, down to stand next to you. What they've done is they've got a company by the name of UFI that has created some custom software that allows you to interact with the Xbox Connect. So they've taken the Xbox Connect that we all know and love, that sits on our mantle or sits in front of our television, and they've turned it into a whole new thing that enables you to become Iron Man. I lost that too, and enables you to call on any of the Avengers to have them join you and stand next to you, and you can take a picture with them. So we're standing inside Show Control, and Show Control is where the magic happens. This is where every bit of cable and every bit of content starts, or ends, really. So what we've got is we've got a host of different media servers and patch panels that are routing to every dome in this complex. And there's a lot going on right here. They uh, let me know that all of the content that's been created is, is being served to all these domes in real time, at 30 frames a second. And so imagine how much data is coming out of this one room at this time. They, at the beginning, when they were doing a kind of a test in Phoenix, they actually ended up crashing the network by accident because the audio guys dumped 10 gigs of data into a Dropbox, and every computer on campus was synced to that Dropbox. So imagine every computer on a campus this big syncing to a 10 gig file on a Dropbox. But they couldn't, they couldn't handle the amount of content that was being served up, and so they crashed the network. And so they've done a bunch of things to make sure that, that doesn't happen again. One of the things is to use the Cisco Meraki routers to make sure that they have even distribution of the network throughout the entire complex. And that even distribution has led to them having something like 20 SSIDs across the footprint of this entire complex. So show control has got so much going on that we can see and so much that we can't see uh, behind, the, behind the scenes. And well, I'm just really excited to be here. So in every, in every space that we've been into, there have been these little kiosks, these kiosks and these microphones. And what's been going on is they've created their own custom control software that starts and stops every single room as well as handles all the paging throughout the space. And they had to create this custom software because one of the things they discovered was that there were so many immersive things, so many unique things happening during the course of the show that things like this were needed. So instead of trying to find it off the shelf, they just went ahead and did it on their own. Okay, now we're getting ready to go enjoy some 3D, and then after that, a ride. So, let's get... Hey, wait a minute, you guys got these in white? I don't know if you noticed it, but mine lit up and yours totally didn't, so no, I think I, they... Well, I, I did notice I've got this. You deserve this. Thank you. This is your chance to do my Redeem shot. Yourself, I right? will be a shield agent. Yourself. I will... I did it. You did it. I, I did it. You did it. Good job. <laughs> I did it. You did it. I did it. I did it. I'm so proud of you. Get out of here. I did all that training. I, I mean, I thought, you know, I thought it was me. I think. I, I, th I thought. I thought they were depending on me. It turns out it was you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make a big deal of it. You did make a big you, deal. Well, I know. And he said he makes this look good. But you. I mean. You know, every front man needs people behind the scenes. You know, I just thought maybe that would be what you did because I was winning the, you know. You were winning the thing. It's, it's, it's a fair assumption, so. I think it was, I think it was the suit jacket. But I, I have to say, thank you. Yes. No. Thank you. No. Thank you. Okay, dude. That was pretty awesome. That was amazing. Shield 5. Shield 5. I had a great time in there, and there was so much going on. Yeah, well, I felt like it brought out the inner kid in me. I you mean, know? You, that's only because you won. Well, yes, several times. Thanks, way to rub it in. <laughs> uh, I mean, one of the things that you should definitely make it a point to do is go check it out in your city. You can check the links out below to see more information about the Marvel experience coming to a city near you. Uh, well, and also, let's talk about the staff. The yeah, staff in here was yeah. amazing. I mean, they were totally professional. They helped the kids. I yeah. mean, it was really cool. Well, and I think even more than being professional, or rather on top of being professional, is they looked like they were having fun. Oh, yeah, saluting you as you walked out the door. Do that again? Were... That's, that's some talent, sir. You know, what that, you know what that reminds me? What? That reminds me that we need to go practice some of the things that we Oh, I know. I've been waiting to get out of here and So go what crime. do you say? There's a big empty parking lot back there. What do you say we go toss that shield around? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, Dave, did you get the email about the funny cats I sent? What? What email? The funny cats! Oh. Hello? Ken, what's going on with the mail server again? Oh, 
should have used HipChat. It's a collaborative tool to get you and your team to be more productive. Set up a room and you can do I am. It'll save your history for when someone says, huh, you didn't say that. You can do video and audio chats and you can share your screen and even animated GIFs. Ow. We've been using it around the GeekBeat offices, and I can expect everyone to always be paying attention because you can access it anywhere, anytime. iOS, Android, Windows, they Linux. don't call it hip chat for nothing. So says the hipster. Get more productive with your team in seconds. Try HipChat Plus free. No credit card required. HipChat.com slash GeekBeat. Sign up, click on start chatting, then invite a few team members and try it free for 30 days. And if you're in the first 100 signups, HipChat is going to extend your 30-day free trial to 90 days. HipChat.com slash GeekBeat. Do you think that shield flies like Captain America shield? I don't know. I think I want to try it, though. I think you totally should. I'm going to stand back, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with no. Definitely, definitely not. 